In this video, I'll go over how to monitor your Synology NAS and get alerts if there is an issue with the online service HealthChecks.io. HealthChecks.io is a project ran by one person, Peter S. Khan, with the goal of the project to do one thing, which is to alert when something doesn't happen on time. Monitoring is offered to everyone, and there is a free hobbyist plan that you can use to get started, which is what I'll be using in this video. HealthChecks.io uses the dead man's switch technique, where the monitored system needs to check in at specific time intervals, and if a check-in is missed, an alert gets generated. This technique works great for backups, periodic jobs or updates, and scripts that run on a continuous or known schedule. And while I'll be showing you one way to monitor that your Synology NAS is online and running, I'll just be scratching the surface on how you could use HealthChecks.io, so I encourage you to check out the documentation and guides available on their website, which I'll link to in the description below. Also, leave a comment down below as well if you're interested in monitoring a specific service running on your Synology NAS, and I'll see if I can help. Let's get started with setting things up, and the first thing that needs to be done is set up an account with HealthChecks.io. So I'll bring up their website and click on the sign up button to start up the process. Here I'll enter in the email address I'd like to use, then click on the email me a link button. Next I'll open the email that was just sent and click on the sign in button to bring up this healthchecks.io screen where I'm able to start working on the monitoring and alerting that I'd like to set up. HealthChecks.io creates a health check by default when you create an account, so I'll use it to monitor and get alerts on my Synology NAS. I'll give the health check a more appropriate name by clicking on it, changing the name to Synology NAS Check, then click Save. Next, I'll click on the Show Details menu to display the health check's current configuration. Under How to Ping, we see the various ways that can be used to check in with HealthChecks.io and for this setup, we'll be using the HTTP URL. More specifically, if I click on Usage Examples, we'll use the bash wget command that will try to connect to the healthchecks.io HTTP URL up to 5 times with a timeout after 10 seconds. I'll copy the command to my clipboard so I can use it a little later in the video. Next, we'll need to set up a schedule that this healthcheck expects. I'd like to get an alert soon after my Synology NAS isn't responding, so under Schedule, I'll click on Change Schedule and adjust the period to 15 minutes. This is the expected time between pings, or the frequency that my Synology NAS should be checking in before an alert is sent. I'll also adjust the grace time to 5 minutes, which will be the wait period prior to sending an alert if a check-in is late. Lastly, the notification method for this health check is email, which is set up by default. Next, we'll need to set up the Synology NAS itself to check in with healthchecks.io. Within DSM, I'll bring up Control Panel and Task Scheduler. I'll then click Create, select Schedule Task, then User Defined Script. Here, I'll give the task a name and change the user that owns the task to root. Next, I'll click Schedule and I'll adjust the time frequency to run every 15 minutes and have it run all day by setting the first runtime to midnight and the last runtime to 11.45 p.m. I'll then click on Task Settings and under Run Command, I'll paste in the wget command that I copied to my clipboard earlier and click OK, then OK again on this warning message window. Now, if I manually run the task, then switch over to the healthchecks.io website, we can see that the Synology NAS just checked in, which is what the last ping column indicates. To simulate a failure and my Synology NAS not checking in properly, I'll switch back over to DSM, then from the Task Scheduler control panel, I'll disable the Synology NAS check-in task that was just created, click Apply, then confirm the change by clicking Save. Now, being that my Synology NAS won't be checking in, after 15 minutes plus the 5-minute grace period, 
we'll see from the HealthChecks.io website that there is a problem with the Synology NAS check. And I also received an email alert indicating that the Synology NAS check is down with additional details on the health check as well. The last thing I'll do is bring up the task scheduler once again from within DSM and re-enable the Synology NAS check-in task. Now, after the next scheduled task runs, we can see that the alert is cleared on the healthchecks.io website. And I also received another email indicating that the Synology NAS check is up and that the Synology NAS has successfully checked in. Hopefully this video on using HealthChecks.io to monitor your Synology NAS helps you out, and if it did, make sure to like this video. Also, check out some of my other videos on monitoring and performance testing your Synology NAS listed here on screen. Lastly, I'd be grateful if you would consider subscribing to this channel and support my work by checking out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.